All right, guys, welcome to episode three. Yes. Episode three of the Showing a First Gen series. Uh, weather's good today, so we're gonna hurry and get this core support off and pressure wash, start pressure washing while the weather's still nice and sunny out and not cold as balls. So we're gonna hurry and get this core support off, get it pulled out there with the old John Deere and get to pressure washing and then maybe pull some more stuff off of the engine bay tonight, possibly some of it tomorrow. So we're gonna get right into it. So we're just going to put some rags in these. Well, the AC is probably in its point of down, and we're just going to get yeah. to degreasing our lights away. Foam cannon, pressure washer, degreaser. De all in one. Thousands of tears later. Two days later, we've had pressure washed again, so. Did you look at your carrier bearing? Yeah, I saw the band. No, there's chain welded in there. What? Yeah, check Are it you out. Serious? You it. Oh, you mean right here? Yeah, all around. <laughs> Bubba's been in here. Bubba been in here. Yeah, there's a legit chain. Hold it on there. I mean, I guess in a pinch you got you get you by, but who would have thought, right? She's rough. When 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 we say take care of your 12 valve, that's not no, that's, that's not, not what that means. means. Front cover, front case is polished. It's definitely <laughs> better than it was. At least you can. Like work on stuff work and on stuff not get fully nasty super greasy but and you can see now that we've washed everything off we should be able to see you know where the oil leaks are or what starts leaking because before everything had oil on it so you didn't know so now we can go ahead and start ripping off exhaust and this stuff and the rest of the remaining stuff on the engine and Three sockets there. Just comes with all the tools to fix it. But to store them in the engine compartment that way. You have them when you need them. When you're break down, you just pull off and there they are. 12 valves don't break down. On further investigation, this bolt was in the manifold. And me having had worked on my first gen a good handful of times, I knew this was a starter bolt. We were missing a starter bolt, so the perfect starter bolt has found its home. It was in the manifold. Another size bolt was in there. I've never seen so many missized or misused nuts and bolts and stuff in turbos, manifolds, pops. You can obviously see how his situation's going right now. And we're just getting, getting stuff knocked out. All right. Exhaust manifold off. As you can see, I'm getting stuff done. 
I'm stuck on one boat, <laughs> as usual. Pops is still tackling his his gig, so. Exhaust side done, and I found another cool trinket. In here, so if I can get you guys to see. Down in the, yeah, there's a whiz wheel. The oh my gosh. Uh, well, we should we could get that with the pumps coming off anyway. Everything. That's amazing. We just keep finding more goods. The fun just keeps on. Just keeps on giving. This is like the never-ending Christmas present. How fitting. That was crap. They have JV Well on it. Yay. We just keep on digging that gold. Surprises man. never stop. This is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get inside, right? You guys like this? What? Like this power steering hose? I'm assuming he broke the end off the factory one and then just clamped on 12 feet of extra hose. So working on getting the power steering off. It's draining right now. These two lines, power steering pump. P pump, see what timing we're at. We have no idea. Maybe 20 degrees, I'd guess. 18 maybe? We'll find out. So the game plan is, I got the pump pulled from the back, P-pump front housing's off. I'm gonna find the top dead center pin on the back, pull the window off the pump and see how far it's, if it's online or if not. And then I'll put my power driven diesel magnetic timing wheel on here roughly, rotate it back to when that's centered and see how many degrees it's running at and probably just leave it. So. I took this off and stuck my light in there and the pin, the timing pin or whatever you call it here, is right there in the middle. And this cover says 11 and a half degrees. Obviously you have to have a P-pump front cover for a P-pump. So I'm assuming this is at 11 and a half degrees of timing and that's what we're going to run with. I don't think it would vary from this unless plates have been swapped or something, but I'm going to assume this is at 11 and a half. 12 degrees of timing, and we don't need our handy dandy power driven diesel magnetic timing wheel. So, 12 degrees or 11 and a half degrees of timing, We're gonna get this undone, unbolted, and P pump should be off. There it is, power driven diesel pump. Well, for some reason, we didn't capture the P pump coming off, but it's and over here, so he pumps been rescued. And the whiz wheel has been found. He's also running red fuel. Well, I just topped it off so, with that to make sure I didn't run out of gas. That's my race. pops was running red. That's race fuel. So I gotta get this off and we can get the front cover off and then my dad ordered a new case and we'll have to obviously pull yep. the cam and reseal this because I'm assuming all this oil right here is from this case leak anyway. So we're getting there. Yep, new case Pops seals. welding skills still haven't worked yet. I'll we're tackle that tomorrow. Not much else. Still looks to be the same motor. Be interested to pull this off. Just see what we got in here. Um, see if this was caused by the old killer dowel pin problem. I would assume so because why else would that crack, right? Um, so yeah, once we get, uh, get in here and see what's in there, we can start cleaning up, get all this grease off and make things look pretty. Thank you guys for watching. Take care of 12 ounce. Peace.